Hello guys, welcome to Piping Welding and DT channel. So this video is all about how to read or how you read the isometric drawings. Okay, if you have experience regarding this isometric drawing, you know better how to read drawing. But the, the beginning, the beginner, he need or she need to know how to read the isometric drawings okay first for the isometric drawing if you have isometric drawing first you must check the revision number why this revision numbers is a very very important this is a number one because if you uh Hold the old revision number and then you fabricate it and then they have a new updating uh, isometric drawing or revision number your uh, your work will be cut it because they have uh, some uh, rev uh, revision of this uh, dimension or they have uh, some uh, fittings changing so this is a very important the revision number check the revision number for the isometric and also Check the line number, check the sheet number, and all okay. And check the materials description if you have a starting to uh, fabricate it. This uh, also important the material this uh, description. So check the the five you installed it. If this is stainless or this is a carbon steel, you must check it or 106 or uh, for the fittings a 105. Check the fittings. Also check the ratings, the thickness and the dimension. And also check the orientation the elevation okay so this is the important you must know about to read the isometric drawing okay I will draw a uh, iso uh, line in the isometric drawing. So let's say this is our line. Okay. And this is our north. Let's say we have a check valve here. And our orientation. If you see this uh, flow, this uh, arrow, this is a flow direction. Okay. This is a check valve. I'm sorry for the, uh, these are wrong. This is a correct symbol of check valve. So this is important. You must check the flow direction of check valve for this for this flow of the line. Okay. The flow of check valve, of course, is the same with this uh, flow of the line. So. This is how to read the isometric drawing. For your installing the check valve, you must uh, check the flow direction. Okay, and also we 
have a line here. Okay, if you see this uh, shadow, this is a horizontal shadow. So, you must aware form this shadow. Okay. And we have a vertical. So, this is the vertical shadow. So, you must aware for this um, shadow. If you are... Uh, um, if you are installing the fight, if you see this shadow, you must aware for this horizontal and the vertical, okay? So, that's all for now guys and thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye. Hello guys, welcome to Piping Welding and NDT channel. So my video is about typical typical isometric symbols. Okay. So this is my video now. So let's discuss this typical isometric videos okay so the typical isometric videos one is if you see this line and they have an arrow there so what is this so this is low direction okay Now, if you see this symbol, so this is a uh, straight one side, and they have a uh, this one ha one and other side is have an ang angle. So this is eccentric reducer. Okay. And this symbol is concentric reducer. Next, If you see these symbols, this is stop. This is from the support. This line, and they have one, two lines there. This is a guide. Okay. If you see this, have a rectangle downside. This is shoe with guides. Next, these symbols means this is swage. Okay, now let's discuss the butt weld, socket weld, and screw joint. This is butt weld socket weld and screwed joint so this is gate bulb okay they have a circle there and they have a circle there dotted okay this is a butt weld
and then another gate bulb and the symbol is like this so this is a socket weld another symbol so this is lead pipe also and this is the screw joint next so this is a slip on plans in the socket well the symbol is like this and the screw normally like that okay next is lap joint lap joint plans and i have a joint there this is a lap joint plans okay so this is a 90 degrees elbow a screw joint from the socket uh, uh, from the this is uh, the socket weld and from the screwed like that okay now from the 90 degrees butt weld if you see this dotted and another one dotted with line like this this is pill weld and this is shaft weld okay that they have a different um uh field weld shaft weld it depends upon on the company okay the symbol this one is this is union and from the uh, screw joint so this like this this is the symbol of union okay so i will give you an, an example from the isometric drawing so this is the isometric drawing so if we can see we have a uh, arrow there on the line so this arrow this arrow is a flow direction right so our flow direction is going down okay so these symbols is this is a orifice flange and we have um we have a 90 degrees elbow there and also 90 degrees elbow so this is we have a shadow this is a vertical line if you see this cloud they have a revision of this drawing okay and we have a spool number this is a spool number spool 10 and we have a shop well joint and this is a fill weld okay. and this is the joint number joint 39 fill weld this joint 38 is a shop weld okay so if you see this dotted line in the drawing so this is they have a heat tracing okay this uh, tracing is heat tracing insulation so this is the continuation continuation number continuation of this ice uh, line 
and we have um, also elevation this is el is elevation this elevation is 10918 what else so this is the shadow vertical we have a shadow vertical there and horizontal okay and we have a spool this is a spool line and we have also a bulb there okay so our bulb is uh, the name of bulb is um, this is a ball bulb so this is a bill of materials so all of this in the line you can see from this BOM you can see here the pipe size the type of ma material type of pipe the schedule oh, this is a 833 grade 6 this is a low temp okay schedule this is a standard this is a seamless pipe and I have a pittings there so this is a 90 degrees elbow and we have also 45 degrees elbow and we have a flange a weld neck flange so this is our weld neck flange okay so from this ball bulb if you see this arrow this is a arrow of this ball bulb okay so this is important if you install this uh, ball bulb you must uh, check the flow direction of the ball bulb okay And then um, from the downside you can see here that the design pressure the operating the test uh, pressure type what insulation painting okay they have a tracing painting system they have a PWHT line list low width code piping class and material class and also this uh, revise revision okay this is the important you must check the revision why because if you uh, uh, if your isometric is not uh, is a uh, old and then you install the line and this is of the problem you cut again the line because they have a new revision so this is the important okay so check the revision this is a revision 1 mo03 so this is a new so we have a line number also and the design area so this is the uh, isometric draw drawing and you can see check also the uh, Norting, okay. We have a Norting here. So this is our North. This is important. If you install this uh, in the five rock, you must check the the orientation and also the elevation. Elevation, Norting, Easting, okay. So that's all for now guys and I hope you have learned about this uh, typical isometric symbols and what is it? what is the scope of this isometric drawing is all about what is the line and then the uh, and the BOM the line number okay that's all for now guys thanks for watching and I hope you have learned about this video and see you in my next video again. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye.